surprised to see it go that late. I'm, it's about time. People take that card too early. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'd say the front runner at this point is. Blue black. Oh, geez. Criminy. Well, that's a money. That's 50 tickets right there. I mean, I gotta just take this. I want you to look at that pack, though. Mammoth, Umbra, Penum Blade, Predator, Nest Invader, Frostwind Invoker, Induced Despair. That's good stuff. Wow. Smoking. Whew. Okay. I'll get over it. Give me a second. Here's a Domestication. I love this card. This card is just about as good as Control Magic. Control Magic would, would just be annoyingly unfair in this set, and Domestication is excellently priced, and obviously Training Grounds can be amazing, but at this point I'm definitely playing white and blue, so I, I'm forcing white-blue from now on at, at this point. That guy's just good enough. So I can pretty much ignore the rest of this pack and take the domestication without hesitation. Okay, well, here's a classic question. Ogre's Cleaver's alright. Demystify Sideboard, Prophetic Prism, not too interested, I'm going white-blue. Um, I don't have any good reason not to. Uh, so I have two cards that are enabled by levelers or enable levelers, and I have a leveler, a really good leveler. But I don't have a lot of levelers yet, and I have a time of heroes already, so this is the obvious pick. So at this point, I'm hiding green, for sure. And I'm not going to play Arrogant Bloodlord because of the double black. Violent Swipe is basically unplayable, so... Like... I think black and red are basically just gone. Uh, we'll see. I'll leave them there just in case. Okay, so this is continuing to pay off. I have I had a spy patrol here, which is excellent. And Bramble Snap is a is a good card. But not you know, not a card to take over Emrakul's Hatcher or Overgrown Battlement or How to Spy Patrol. It's probably the fourth fourth best card in the pack. These three cards are comparable. I think Hada Spy Patrol is better than either of those two, but as usual with Rise, it really depends on your deck. It's clearly better than in my deck. The question is, when does this Time of Heroes become playable? So I really like Hyena Umbra in this deck. I, I'm probably even liking Soul's Attendant in this deck. Um, just it's Soul's Attendant is a wall of omens in disguise, um, as is Coraline Slinger. Neither of them draw you a card, and Soul's Attendant has the chance to be way, way better. Especially against something like an Emrakul's Hatcher. That is just devastating. Oh, goodness. A Drake Umbra is really good. I mean, that makes my Soul's Attendant a 4-4 flyer, and suddenly it's incredibly relevant to the game. Um... And even if they kill it, they just use removal on essentially my Drake Umbra, not my Soul's Attendant. On the other hand, Skywatcher Adept is really good, but Drake Umbra is Drake Umbra. Smite is also gets an honorable mention here for being removal in white, but that's a good card. There's a Crusher in that pack too, but a Drake Umbra is a 5 mana Crusher. Okay. So the Icarol Outrider seems pretty good, but there's a Merfolk Sky Scout who's excellent. He has Vigilance, he can let you go off with a, uh, a uh, Cryptologist. You just draw a couple cards every turn, card advantage will win you the game eventually. So I'm in the right colors, even though I'm kind of, seems like I've forced a little bit here and there. Uh, I'm just getting past absolute fire at all times. Alright, well, of all these cards, I would potentially play Elendumra in a deck like this. 
This is a really defensive and very cheap card. I don't think there's... There's just a lot of quality in, the, in those cheap Umbras. Hyena Umbra and Elan Umbra are both totally reasonable cards. Regress is a, speaking of a totally reasonable card, is the best card in this pack for my deck. I think it's tough to say which of these two cards is better in general. I win games with this card, but I don't lose games with Regress. Okay, I think I'm best off just taking another chunky flyer than going like with a pen on blade, which is the other card I would consider here. I only have nine creatures, and this is a top quality card. This shouldn't be going all the way around. And shrivel bad against me. Shrivel can hurt. I would take the fleeting distraction, but I'm already at a lot of playables. I don't think I'm going to end up needing to play that, so I'll just take the shrivel. I really, really doubt I'm playing this card. And I, I really doubt I'm playing this card too. Worst thing in the world would be to have a Gideon Jura or a Sphinx of Magosi in your hand and not be able to cast them because you splashed red. And there's a really late Champions Drake. 